It's October, geeks, and you all know what that means, Spooky Month. We are going to be doing a lot of fun-filled, horror comic-related videos all this month. Of course, you're going to be seeing some other things as well, but prepare for a month long of spooky horror cliches and, of course, lots and lots of horror comic content. Right here, right now, coming at you. So in the spirit of Halloween, I thought I would uh, showcase some of my favorite horror comics. And uh, subsequently, all of them are my favorite because uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you will know that I'm a huge fan of horror comics. So today, this video, buckle down, it's going to be a little longer. I'm going to be showing you every single horror comic that I have, starting with Werewolf by Night number one. Absolutely love uh, this series. Werewolf by Night number three. Unfortunately, don't have number two. Don't know why, just uh, how it kind of uh, turned out. Werewolf by Night number four. I absolutely love these horror covers. They're, um, they're just really something to look at. Werewolf by Night number five. Six. Look at that cover. That's, that's like a classic, classic horror cover. Absolutely love that. It's number six. Here's number seven. Number eight. Number nine. With the villain, the Tatter Medallion, I believe that is. Um, actually kind of a cool villain. Uh, he also made an appearance in the... Um, uh, I think it was the uh, Marvel team up issue where Werewolf by Night teamed up with a Spider-Man. I think that's kind of a cool name to Tatter Medallion. Werewolf by Night number 10. Love that art. Just love it. And now we are on to Giant Size Chillers uh, number one. These Giant Size books from the 1970s are just so much fun. Especially uh, the one entitled Giant Size man thing which is an ongoing uh joke on this channel no i do not have um giant size man thing yep uh i think i just walked into that one <laughs> uh giant size chillers number two really really cool cover <clears throat> giant size chillers number three and uh, this is Giant Size Chillers Volume 2, I believe, uh, which is, oh, they relaunched with a uh, number one. This is just a random uh, House of Mystery issue that I have. This is House of Mystery 236. I believe it's the only House of Mystery uh, comic that I have. I think I just randomly found it in a dollar pin one day and I was just so excited. I wish I had more House of Mystery, but... Uh, uh, I don't, and that cover, um, it's really, really cool. I think I remember this issue quite fondly, too. It's uh, really a good one. Crypt of Shadows, number one. Some, uh, As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Marvel horror. I'm a huge fan of Bronze Age Marvel in general. Um, most of my collection, believe it or not, is uh, Marvel. A lot of brown, Bronze Age Marvel. Oh, I have two number ones. <laughs> um Crypt of Shadows, number two. Crypt of Shadows, number three. Why have dogs playing poker when you can have ghouls playing poker? Crypt of Shadows, number four. Crypt of Shadows, number six. The, and these stories are great. I highly recommend picking these up if you can find them anywhere. But I think they are relatively rare um i don't know i had a kind of a hard time finding these but i'm just so happy to have them crypt of shadows number eight crypt of shadows number 10 number 11 number 12 looking through a jack-o-lantern i think that's jack oh no maybe that's a skull <laughs> number 13 with a really cool cover here as well i always love that little insignia in the top corner here uh, with a little skull and book and candle number 15 number 19 with kind of a sci-fi cover there kind of cool it's, this is a more beat up copy but uh, still happy to have it number 20 
And now we are on to Chamber of Chills. I do not have the number one of uh, Chamber of Chills. Um, so here's number three, number four, number six, number seven, with an, another cool werewolf on the cover. I love werewolves. Number nine in a labyrinth. Number 11 with some sort of tiki statues. Kind of look almost like the Easter Island ones. Number 12. I love the insignia on this too. A little haunted house with a bat. She looks a little bit way too happy for someone who's about to get pummeled or eaten by the ice monster. The ice monster cometh. Which is kind of funny because years later in 1996 we had... Arnold Schwarzenegger and Mr. Freeze saying, The Iceman cometh. That was a terrible impression, but I remember that movie is horrible for puns. Okay, number 13. I found this hilarious because some stupid kid back in the 70s decided to draw a beard <laughs> and a missing tooth on um, that person. I'm really upset about that. I really wish I could find out who did that. Um, number 14. Number 15, really cool cover. Number 20, we're jumping to number 21. Now we are moving on to Uncanny Tales, number one. As you could tell, uh, most of it is Marvel. Um, I don't think, besides that one um, House of Mystery uh, comic, uh, I think the rest of my horror comics are all Marvel, believe it or not. But Marvel really had a good had a good time. They had a really uh, some really good books in the in the Bronze Age. Uh, this is Uncanny Tales from the Grave, uh, number ten. I actually found this in a dollar bin. I remember, I was so excited. Weird Wonder Tales, number five. Weird Wonder Tales, number thirteen. Number sixteen. Nineteen. Now we have the monsters are coming. Beware. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. New title here. Tower of Shadows. Number five. This is going back. It's got a 15 cent cover cover price there. Um, really think this is a cool book. This next set of books is actually going to be uh, from primarily two titles. Uh, but I thought I would uh, share them regardless. So um, we we're talking a little bit earlier about the man thing. Yes, this is not this is not the giant size man thing. Uh, this is just the straight up man thing. Sorry to disappoint you all. Uh, but here's man thing number one. Love love this cover. Love this title. Man thing uh, from the Bronze Age is just stellar. Man thing number two. Man Thing, number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number seven, cool cover here. Number eight. Love this art. Number nine. Number 10, I think I have the first like 22 issues of this. This is number 10, number 11. Not a big fan of this cover though. Um, kind of looks like I drew it. And it's by by Mike Plug actually, who's actually a great artist. Um, love his uh, his work on uh, Werewolf by Night, but uh, I don't know, just not my favorite cover. Uh, and then we move on to number 12. Uh, number 12 is an awesome cover. Look at the detail there, beautiful. Sorry, these are about to fall over. Okay, number 13 with a pirate on the front. Number 14, more pirates. Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. 18, 19, 
20 with some guest appearances. Looks we, like we have Daredevil, we have Spidey, and Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, I think that is. Also the thing. Oh, sorry, Shang-Chi, the Kung Fu guy, right? I don't know, I've never read any Shang-Chi, but 21. 22, great cover there. And we're moving on to the Tomb of Dracula, which is probably, arguably my favorite horror title from uh, from the era. Um, really, really great, really enjoyed it. Uh, but before we move on to that, I just wanted to share with you, um, if you are going to pick up any of the um, Man Thing, books i definitely would recommend picking up the first uh three especially number two uh i absolutely love this story in here it's it's really great probably one of my favorite um stories in all of comic books so uh, i'll let you go and check that out uh so tomb of dracula number one great cover classic cover too uh i've seen some cover swipes of this number two I actually arguably might like this cover better. Um, really cool. Kind of sets that creepy ambiance. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Cool cover there. Actually I have two of them, I think. Number seven. Um, wasn't a big fan of this cover. Dracula looks a little bit too surprised for my taste. <laughs> uh, number eight. Number nine. And you're probably all wondering if I have number 10. I do not. Goes right to number 11. Do not have number 10 for obvious reasons. It's quite one of the more expensive uh, books from the Bronze Age. Hope to add it to my collection one day, but for the time being, I've really kind of slowed down my collecting and I uh, won't be adding it anytime soon. Uh, those are most of my horror comics. I think this is all of my horror comics. Um, I was gonna share Sleepwalker with you, but I kind of felt Sleepwalker was more of a uh, superhero comic, but it does have some horror elements to it as well. If you tune in next time, I'm going to show you some of my horror omnibuses uh, that I have. A lot of EC stuff, Tales from the Crypt, and uh, of course, more Marvel horror, all that in our next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me which books of these you have. Tell me which books of them you love, which ones you don't love, which ones you hate, uh, anything like that. Love interacting with you all in the comments. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.